Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Kubota Credit Corporation and the 0% financing program. I did a prior video on, on that uh, and I want to make a couple of corrections uh, based on some additional uh, information that I got. And the additional information is that uh, they will let you buy this machine, right? This is a brand new uh, L3901. They will let you buy this machine uh, without the extended warranty uh, and without the insurance if you can prove insurance um, you know, to the corporate. So you can get insurance to your bank or whatever. Uh, and that's significant, okay, because what that means is that that's not where the interest is, okay? The, so the interest is already in the price of the machine. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, um, you know, my background is an accountant. Um, I've done accounting for many years and way back when I was in school, one of the classes um, that I had to take was called the time value of money, all right? Uh, you know, and basically the, the basic idea of that is that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar seven years from now. Um, a couple of reasons is because first of all, if I have that dollar now, I can invest it and I can use it to make more money. Um, the other thing is that, you know, I don't know what thing, how things are gonna be uh, seven years from now, so there's some risk involved, okay, and I got to be compensated for that risk. Um, the other thing is inflation, and that's probably the biggest factor today, the rate at which the government is electronically printing money, and they're printing a lot of it, right? They're, they're talking about increasing the national debt by three trillion dollars. Number trillion is an insanely big number. A trillion seconds is 31,000 years, so they're not borrowing this money from anybody. They're not going to pay it back. This money doesn't exist. They're just electronically creating it, okay? Um, so I, these are things I covered in my prior video. Um, in, in this video, I wanna focus on uh, the ways to, um, the ways that we um, actually evaluate the true cost of an asset when they tell you 0% uh, financing. Now, I'm not here to say that these, the 0% the financing program from Kubota is bad. In fact, I like it a lot. I, I used it to buy this machine, I used it to buy another machine um, uh, back in 2013. It was actually the same machine. This is the L3901. That was the L3800. Same machine, basically 38 horsepower machine, you know, with the loader. Same exact machine. I keep that at a different location. Um, so uh, now one of the interesting things is I went and I looked up what I paid for my, um, uh, my L3800 back in 2013, right? So in 2013, uh, basically, I had entered into a 60-month contract where I was paying $387 a month uh, for a total of uh, uh, roughly $23,000, okay? So the cost of that machine, you know, and that includes insurance, warranty, you know, um, you know all the interest that's wrapped into that um, was, was roughly $23,000. So the same exact machine, uh, you know, other than the DPF and some minor changes that they made to it but roughly the same machine uh in 2021 all right i got this um over seven years um it basically was uh basically 84 months uh my monthly is 405 dollars so that comes out to 34 thousand dollars so we're talking 24 thousand all right compared to 34 thousand dollars so the 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 amount of money that you're paying for this machine, dollar-wise, uh, has gone up by roughly ten thousand dollars from 2013 uh, to 2021. Now, the important thing to understanding that is that the machine itself, the value of the machine, really didn't change. Okay, uh, this machine, you know, my L3800 does the same amount of work in 2013 that this L3901 does in 20 uh, in 2021. So, the only thing that has changed here is the value of the dollar, okay? So when we look at these two machines, and you got, there's videos on my channel of my L3800 working, I was actually using it this morning, uh, and I posted a video of that. Um, so from 2013 to 2021, uh, the, the value of this machine has not changed. It does the same amount of work. The only thing that has changed is that your the money, the, the value of the dollar has decreased, okay? So whereas in the past I would have to pay in 2013, paid 24,000 now I'm paying 34,000 so that's the important thing to understand all right um, with regards to money so um, now that we understand that 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 the value of assets really doesn't change it's more the value of the money that changes uh, let's talk a little bit about the zero percent 
financing and uh, the, a, uh, a calculation that's called the, uh, uh, the present value of an annuity, okay, because that's, the, um, th that's basically the calculation that we would have to make to get back to what the value of this machine is. So once I remove the warranty, but what I did is I took out the warranty, I took out the, uh, um, uh, the insurance, and I also took out the sales tax, okay? So before all that, the base value of this machine that I have right here is $28,000, okay? So uh, dividing that by the 84 month period, okay? That comes out to uh, a monthly payment of $333, okay? So that's what I would have been paying for this machine uh, if I wasn't paying the sales tax, extended warranty, um, and, the, uh, and the insurance, which I'm happy to be paying for because that, that has value to me, right? Those things have value to me. I'm pretty hard on my machines, uh, and I, I like the idea of having that extra warranty and extra insurance, you know, in case I roll it over or whatever. Um, so the, the calculation that we would have to do is called a... Uh, the present value of an annuity. I'm going to put a link below in the description in the comment section uh, so you guys can go to, uh, um, I think there's a calculator on, uh, on the internet that you can use to do this valuation. Okay, so there's a very standard valuation. If you do any accounting classes, any business classes, you, you, you know, you're going to learn that there's no such thing uh, as 0% interest. There's only market interest right there's only the, the, you know it's market interest now you may get a slightly better rate um if you are if you have a really good history or just a slightly better rate if you have a really good credit history or you might get a slightly worse rate if you have a really bad credit history uh the interesting thing is that with with Kubota um since everybody's getting zero percent financing once, once you get approved everybody's paying the same interest rate so regardless how Good your credit, whether your credit is good or bad, once you get approved, you're all paying the same interest rate wrapped up in the cost of the machine. Um, so the calculation is the uh, the term T, right, is uh, seven, right? So it's a period of seven years. The uh, the interest rate R I put as ten percent, okay? Um, because that's kind of like a like like a, uh, a medium interest rate. You know, uh, you know, if you look at your credit cards, you might be paying seventeen percent. You know, if you look at your uh, uh, the mortgage on your house, you might be paying a little bit less than that. So I I'm using roughly, you know, a a an average rate, let's say a 10%. Okay? Um, the, uh, uh, the number of, uh, of periods, uh, which is M, is going to be 12. Because basically you're paying, you know, you're not making one lump sum every year. You're making 12, uh, you're paying over 12 periods, okay? Uh, the payment is $333. I already explained that that was the... $28,000, the base value of this machine, um, divided by uh, 84, 84 months. So that comes up, to pay, so the, the payment here is uh, 333. Uh, then there's another uh, period that you put in, tw you just put in 12. When, when, when uh, pay period comes up again, you're going to put it up 12. Because again, there are other options. Another thing that's going to come up is the percent growth. Because you could have an annuity where, like, let, let's say after a certain number of period, you know, it goes up by a percentage rate, right? So... This, but this is a fixed $333. It doesn't increase over the, the, the period, right? Because you could have one that goes up, let's say, 1% or whatever. You know? so, no, this is a, so you put zero for growth rate on the, um, on the interest. And then when you, when you basically hit the calculate button, um, this comes out to roughly $20,000. Okay, so, this, so that, you know, when you, when you remove the interest that's imputed, in the in the in this twenty eight thousand dollars, right, and you, and you back out of it, um, this is a twenty thousand dollar machine in today's money, all right. Um, now, if I was uh, to do, let's say, uh, if I was doing financial statement, let's say I had a corporation that bought this machine, and they were going to now reflect this on their books as an asset, right? I wouldn't record the twenty eight thousand, right? The accounting rules require me to record the twenty thousand dollars, right, and then that. Other eight thousand dollars I would record as interest. Okay, that's that's what that's what the accounting rules are because in in the business world there we, you know there is no such thing as zero percent interest. There's only market interest, uh, and, and the the rest is BS. Now this doesn't reflect you know this calculation that I, or, or the, the way I would show the value of this machine on the books of a certain corporation does not change the way I would be making the company would be making payments to Kubota. This is simply on the company's books reflecting this machine at its true value separating out uh, the interest now uh, in reality um, on a 
you know, on a machine where you have a, that has a base value of twenty-eight thousand, and and you know the interest on that is eight thousand dollars imputed into that, uh, I probably wouldn't even bother, okay, because it's such a small amount. But if this was a uh, you know like a two million dollar airplane, right? Uh, I would you know I would actually have to separate, you know, you know if 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 I have a, an airplane, you know that's worth two million dollars that was that shows zero percent financing. Okay, I'm abs I absolutely have to separate the interest from the from the true value of the machine in order to reflect it on the book. So, uh, so that's that calculation that we do is called the the present value of an annuity. Basically, an annuity is a series of payments, um, and I just I'm just putting this out there so you guys can understand that there's no such thing as zero percent financing. Um, you know, there's only market interest. You might get a slightly better rate or slightly worse rate. Now, here's the interesting thing is. Because everybody gets zero percent financing, if you're, uh, in fact, uh, let's say you typically get a, a better interest rate. Let's say you have really good credit, so you might say that hey, you know, you you could get better than than ten percent uh, interest. You could get let's say eight percent interest, or maybe five percent interest, or whatever. Well, w the interesting thing is that that actually works against you. The value of this machine would, um, would, would you know, it actually works against you because, um, you know, you, you know, you could have went somewhere else and got that this at a, at a better price now interestingly enough um i when i when i bought this machine i i did make an offer or I, actually i did inquire and make an offer i inquired about paying the machine outright uh and they said yes i could i said how deep is the discount i hadn't done any of these calculations yet i want to see what you know but i asked him how deep is the cat the discount they said no there is no discount so uh basically even if you pay this machine if you pay you know if you uh uh, purchase the machine and you pay the entire amount up front you're still going to pay the full amount which includes the interest and I guess the reason why they do it that way is because there's so few people that are going to that are willing to to buy the machine and pay it up front that that they just don't even you know they don't even bother to um, to come up with a separate price schedule for that okay so so that you know now personally I, I'd rather be paying this over a longer period of time um, uh, a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, for t tax reasons. You know, I mean, I have my personal tax reasons uh, for for wanting to pay this over uh, a longer period of time, where I'm able to show this on my taxes. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, uh, at the rate that the government is printing money, you know, even though, you know, from 2013, you know, where I said in 2013, essentially I had paid, you know. Uh, what would I say I paid? I have paid some twenty-three thousand dollars for machine versus the thirty-four thousand dollars that I'm going to end up paying for this. You know, the government is continuing to print money at an insane level. So, um, you know, seven years from now, I'm going to look back and this is going to be like, okay, you know, uh, look how cheap it was back then. Okay, so you know, just like back in, uh, um, you know, back in uh, 2013 when I bought this machine, it probably seemed really expensive at the time. You know, compared to like whatever it's seven, eight years earlier. Um, but, 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 but yeah, when you're looking at, you know, especially in this case, this is a perfect example because I can compare the same exact machine now to, you know, eight years ago and I can see, easily see the, how the, the, the value of the money has changed. Not the value of the machine, the value of the money. So I hope you guys found this, uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and like I said, this is not so much a video, you know, uh, about, uh, Kubota credit, you know, like I said, it's a great program. I use it. I, I used it twice. Uh, but it's more, uh, it's, it's, it's a video about understanding that, you know, un understanding the time value of money. There is no su such thing as 0% interest. It is included in the price of the machine one way or another. So uh, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.